Resident Evil 7, a triumphant return for the franchise, or another missed opportunity? I'm Starkiller with Split Screen, and today I'm going to give you some first impressions of Resident Evil 7. After a few hours of the game, I can honestly say that Resident Evil is a fantastic game. It's the first Resident Evil game to really grip me since Resident Evil 5, and even that one was already straying far from its origins. Resident Evil 7 tries to reinvent the franchise while also returning to its horror roots. It's the first game in the series played from a first-person perspective, and in my opinion, the first person makes the experience much more gripping and immersive. The story so far is a pretty basic horror movie plotline you would expect to see in really any horror movie. It feels very detached from previous Resident Evil stories, but that isn't necessarily a bad thing, given how bombastic the, um, the plot has gotten in games like Resident Evil 6, you really had to struggle to understand what was going on. The characters in Resident Evil 7 and the scares more than make up for the subpar story so far. Remember, these are just some first impressions. Graphically, the game is incredibly impressive running on PlayStation 4 Pro. The use of HDR and 4K makes it an absolute joy to play. The controls are tight and extremely responsive, unlike most games in the series. You never feel like you're clunky and disjointed. Usually in Resident Evil games, half of the time you die, it's because you just couldn't turn around quick enough or you were struggling to get down that ladder. And in Resident Evil 7, when you die, it's because you of your failures, not because the controls failed you. The game in VR is an absolutely terrifying marvel. It's without a doubt the first VR game I have ever played that got me saying, this is an actual video game, not just a gimmick. The controls in VR are, are catered specifically to minimize the risk of motion sickness as much as possible, and it does an amazing job at that. I never once failed... I never once felt like I was due for a break because of dizziness or nausea, which I've experienced on, pre on other games. Combat feels responsive and satisfying while also keeping you feeling helpless due to lack of ammunition. Keeping the tension high and really making you debate whether to use your bullets now or sneak past the current encounter and save them for later where they might be more important. All in all, so far, Resident Evil 7 is an incredible survival horror experience. Up there with the likes of Outlast and the cancelled Silent Hills, hashtag fuck Konami. This isn't the Resident Evil we've come to know and love, or hate, depending on which ones you look at. This is something completely different. And while it certainly borrows from games like Outlast, it differentiates itself enough to be exciting to play. Stay tuned to Split Screen for more things on Resident Evil 7 and all things gaming. I'm out.